Good day everyone, in this video I will discuss to you about the historical antecedents in the world. So this section tackles how social contexts shape and reshape by science and technology across three historical periods. By introducing the historical antecedents of science and technology, the section explores the dynamic interactions between different societal factors and, soci and science and technology. So along with the discussion of these antecedents during the ancient period, Middle Ages, Modern Ages, this section also includes a discussion on important Philippine inventions and innovations. So this section provides students with an overview of the development of science and technology from the ancient times to the present. It traces how man has developed technological tools to make his existence more progressive and comfortable not only in the world but also in the country. So um, this section also emphasizes the various social, cultural, economic, and political impacts of scientific and technological innovation throughout the history. So let us first define what is antecedent. What is the meaning of antecedent? So an antecedent is defined as a precursor to the unfolding or existence of something. Thus, the historical antecedents in science and technology are factors that pave the way for the presence of advanced and sophisticated scientific and technological innovations today. So, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina that we are going to tackle how social context shaped and were shaped by science and technology across the three historical periods that we are going to discuss in this video. So, let us proceed to the ancient period. So, the rise of ancient civilization paved a way for advances in science and technology. So, these advances during the ancient period allowed civilization to flourish by finding better ways of communication, transportation, self-organization, and in living of general. So, ito yun. So, we have here um, communication, transportation, self-organization, and living in general. So, let us now proceed to the inventions under the Asian period. Ano-ano ba yung mga inventions na naka-influence sa atin in the Asian period? So, the first one here is the Asian wheel. So, ito yung itsura ng Asian wheel na na-invent noong Asian period. So, people from civilizations used animals for transportation long before the invention of the wheel. So, noong una, yung ginagamit, ng, uh, yung ginagamit na transportation ng mga, ng mga tao ay mga, mga animals muna. So, they use animals for transportation hanggang sa ma-invent na itong mga wheel na to. So, the ancient wheel grew out of a mechanical device called the potter's wheel. So, a potter's wheel, it is a heavy flat disc made of hardened clay which was spun horizontally on an axis. So, itong ancient wheel na to believed that the, Samari the Sumerians invented the potter's wheel shortly after 3500 BC. So, the invention of this ancient wheel is often credited to the Sumerians since no other ancient civilization used a similar device at that time. So, wala nang ibang gumamit ng potter's wheel na yan kundi ang mga Sumerians lang. So, that is the first invention. Uh, not actually uh, first invention but isa sa mga invention noong ancient period. And the next invention is the paper. So, we have here that is papyrus, yung mga nakasulat dyan. 
The ancient Egyptians began writing on papyrus, as similar to thick paper around 3000 BC. So this papyrus is made from the pit of the papyrus plant, Sapyrus papyrus. And with the, um, it is, uh, th uh, this, this papyrus is made, uh, it is lightweight, strong, and durable, and most importantly, portable. So, kahit saan mong, kahit saan mong siya pwedeng dalhin, pwede. So, before the Egyptians invented the papyrus, writing was done on stone. So, bago pa man na-invent itong, itong, pap uh, itong paper na to, yung nagsusulat yung mga Egyptian is sa mga bato. So, because of, uh, because of the difficulty of writing on stone, writing was reserved only for very important occasions. So, kapag may mga uh, important occasions lang, saka lang sila magsusulat. Kasi nga, napakahirap naman talagang magsulat sa stone. That's why, uh, with the advent of this papyrus, documentation and record keeping became efficient, widespread, and vast. So, through this, through the use of this paper, information dissemination became exponentially faster. So, yung pag-disseminate ng mga information is mas napapadali na. And records were kept and stood the test of time. So, yun yung all about that paper. And the next one is the shadow. Ano ba yung shadow? What is shadow? Uh, what shadow is? So, ito yung itsura ng shadow. So, shadow was an early tool invented and used by the ancient Egyptians to irrigate land. So, among, among Egyptians who lived near the Nile River, irrigation was necessary to water their crops. So, yun kasi yung uh, kabuhayan nila, yung Siyempre, kung malapit ka sa Nile River, yung isa sa mga kabuhayan mo is yung uh, pagsasaka. So, mas, mas mabilis na lang sa kanilang mag-water mag ng kanilang mga crops because of that invention. So, the shadow also spelled as shadow. It is a hand-operated device used for lifting water. So, its invention introduced the idea of lifting things using counterweights. So, because of this invention, irrigation and farming became more uh, efficient. So, dahil dito sa na-invent na invention na to, yung mas napadali yung pag-irrigate and farming ng mga tao dito. So, the shadow is also believed to be an ancient precursor of more sophisticated irrigation tools. Okay, next is the Antikythera Mechanism. So, what is Antikythera Mechanism? So, ito yung itsura ng Antikythera Mechanism. So, even before the invention of the antecedents of the modern computer, yung mga Greeks had already invented the ancient world's analog computer um, this antikythera mechanism is similar to a clock in the way that the case has a circular face and rotating hands. So, halos same lang siya sa mga, mga orasan. So, upon its discovery, the bits of wood seen on its fragments suggest that it must have been housed in a wooden case. So, parang naka, naka, nakapaloob lang siya sa isang wooden case. Doon siya nakalagay. And, it is widely believed that the Antikythera mechanism was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses for calendar and astrological purposes. So, it is also believed that the Antikythera Antikythera mechanism, which is one of the oldest known antecedents of modern clockwork, was invented by the Greek scientist. So, it is believed, it was believed that the yung mga nag-invent daw ni, uh, nung, yung nag-invent daw ng Antikythera mechanism was invented by the Greek scientist. 
So yun yun. Para siyang isang clock na nakakapag-predict ng astronomical positions and eclis- eclipses kung meron man. So we have here. And next is the A lipile. So Aeolipile, Aeolipile, rather, also known as the Hero's engine, engine, the Aeolipile is widely believed to be the ancient precursor of the steam engine. So, it is the ancient precursor of the steam engine. So, Hero of Alexandria is credited for the demonstration of the use of this invention. So, this um, Aeolipile is a steam-powered turbine which is spun when the water container at the center. So, yung water container is at the center. And merong sa baba and was heated under it. So, ito yung, la- uh, ito yung fire and then yung water container is dito. Parang hinihit niya yung water container dyan. Thus, making it practically the first rudimentary steam engine. So, hindi masyadong clear itong um, hindi masyadong clear itong si Aeolipile when it comes to practical purposes. But, itong invention na to was uh, one of many temple wonders at that time. So, isa rin tong uh, kumbaga sikat sa mga na-invento noong panahon. So, that's all about with this Aeoli pile. And i, uh, this is the illustration of uh, Hero's Engine. So, yun nga. Sabi ko kanina that um, Hero of Alexandria was credited for the demonstration of the use of kung paano ginagamit itong Aeoli pile na to. Okay, next is the Okay, so let us proceed to the to the Middle Ages. So between um between the collapse of the Roman Empire in 5th century AD and the colonial expansion of Western Europe in late 15th century, major advances in scientific and technological development took place. So, this includes steady increase of new inventions, new and env- new inventions, introduction of introduction of invention innovations in traditional production and emergence of scientific thinking and method. So, the Middle Ages was not as stagnant as alternate terms such as the medieval period or yung dark ages na tinatawag. In fact, many medieval universities at that time steered scientific thinking and built infrastructures for scientific communities to flourish. So, some of the humanity's most importantly present-day technologies could be traced back to their historical antecedents in the Middle Ages. So, kumbaga dito sa Middle Ages, mas nag-improve na yung mga na-invent ng mga either scientists or mga in- inventors. So, the first uh, inventions or one of the inventions under this Middle Ages, under this period, is the heavy plough. So, what is that heavy plough? So, ito yung itsura niya. This is an impression of a heavy plough. So, perhaps one of the most important technological innovations during the Middle Ages is the invention of the heavy plough. Kaya siya sinama dito sa Middle Ages. So, sabi dito, um, according to this, kasi yung mga yung lupa dito is a clay soil. So, kapag sinabi natin clay soil, uh, despite being more fertile than lighter types of soil, was not cultivated because of its heavy weight. So, masyadong mabigat. However, through the use of this heavy plough or through the invention of this heavy plough, 
it became possible to harness clay soil. So, so the heavy plough steered an agricultural re revolution in Northern Europe marked by higher and healthier agricultural yields and more efficient agricultural practices. So, dito, um, mas napadali yung pag pag harness ng soil because of this uh, because of this invention. Next is the Next is the gunpowder. So gunpowder, so ito siya, it is the illustration of a Chinese warrior using gunpowder gun in weapons. So, ito yung gunpowder na tinatawag. Ginagamit lang siya ng Chinese para sa uh, uh, para uh, as a weapon in particularly sa mga labanan. Okay, so around 850 AD, Chinese alchemists accidentally invented black powder or gunpowder. Prior to that invention, prior to that invention of that gun powder, swords and spears were used in battles and wars. So, so, na, so nung na-invent na itong gun powder, ito na yung mga, isa sa mga weapon na ginagamit, especially the Chinese, sa pakikipaglaban. So, how it is used? So, toward the end of the 13th century, the explosive invention crept into most parts of Europe and Asia. Since yung invention na to, uh, the gunpowder the gun has allowed for more advanced warfare. So from from that, from fairy arrows to cannons and grenades, the gunpowder has prom prompted foundation for the functionality of almost every new weapon used in war since its invention. So gumamit sila ng mga kanon, gumamit sila ng mga grenade, mga granada until it was invented this invention. Ito na yung mga ginagamit nila sa pakikipaglaban. So it ushered in an unprecedented advancement in warfare and combat throughout the Middle Ages. Okay. So the next one is the paper money. So the paper money um, this, uh, the first known version of the paper money could be traced back to the Chinese in the 17th century AD as an offshoot of the invention of black printing, which is also similar to stamping. So before the introduction of that paper money, precious metals such as gold and silver were used as a currency. So, nung hindi pa nai-invent itong paper money, yung ginagamit nila sa pakikipag- for example, sa pakikipagkalakalan is yung gold and silver. However, the idea of assigning value to a marked piece of paper did not immediately become popular. In fact, yung mga Mongols attempted to introduce paper money in the Middle East market. So by that, the traders and merchants eventually realized the huge advantage of using paper money because mas mapapadali na yung pag-transport around compared to the previous forms of ca currency. So mas ito when uh, when this invention was uh, was invented, mas na mas napadali na yung pag-transport ng ng mga money or kapag merong mga i-export na product around us then, mas madali na itong gamitin compared to the previous forms of currency. So, the next one is the mechanical clock. So, as you can see, yung kanina halo same lang sa Asian, ta uh, sa Asian period, yung na-invent niya is the Antiquitaria Mechanism. It is like a clock. And this, um, in Middle Ages, it was invented mechanical clock. So the although devices for, for timekeeping and record sprang from the ancient times such as the Antikythera mechanism so yung sinabi ko kanina 
it was not until the Middle Ages that clockwork technology was developed. So, hindi lang, uh, kumbaga kanina medyo uh, fragment of antiquitar na mechanism lang yung pinakita. Dito medyo uh, mas nag-improve na under the Middle Ages. So, yung development of mechanical clocks paved the way for accurately keeping track of time. So, the development of uh, the sophistication of clockwork technology of the mechanical clock drastically changed the way days were spent and work patterns were established, particularly in the more advanced Middle Ages cities. So, yan. The next one is the spinning wheel. Okay, so yung spinning wheel. This is another in another important invention under the Middle Ages. Uh, a spinning wheel is a machine used for transforming fiber into thread or yarn and eventually woven into cloth on a loom. So although no consens consensus could be made regarding the origin of this spinning wheel, um, it is theorized that the ancients invented the spinning wheel between 6th and 11th century. So, hindi alam kung sino ba talaga yung nag-invent nitong spinning wheel. But, uh, ancients invented this spinning wheel under uh, on around between 6th and 11th century. This is actually 6th not Okay, this is just um, 6, not 60. So, listen at and see, 0. So, the ancients invented the spinning wheel between 6th and 11th century AD. So, prior to the invention of this spinning wheel, weaving was done predomin predominantly through the more time-consuming and tedious process of hand spinning. So, nung hindi pa nai-invent tong spinning wheel, gumagamit muna sila, uh, yung pag-wave nila, wave, weaving nila, is using their hand. So, parang uh, time-consuming yung ganun. Kaya, na-invent to, so mas napadali na yung, yung trabaho. So, according to White, mga Americans, the invention of the spinning wheel sped up the rate at which fiber could be spun by a factor of 10 to 100 times. So by that, mas um, mas napadali yung work ng mga tao because of that spinning wheel. Okay, so that's all about the Middle Ages, the inventions under the Middle Ages. Now let us proceed to the Modern Ages. So, as the world population steadily increased, people of the modern ages realized the utmost importance of increasing the efficiency of transportation, communication, and production. So, the industrialization took place with greater risk in human health, food safety, and environment, which had to be addressed as scientific and technological progress unfolding at an unimaginable imaginable speed. So, dito sa modern ages, mas kung doon sa uh, kung doon sa middle ages is nag-improve yung mga inventions ng mga scientists, dito sa modern ages, mas pina-improve pa yung inventions para mas mapadali yung mga uh, trabaho ng mga tao. So, the first um, inventions that were invented under these modern agents is the compound microscope. So, ito yung itsura ng compound micros microscope. And this is Janssen's compound microscope. So, um, we have here the Dutch maker. So, Zacharia, Zacharias... Janssen, a Dutch, a Dutch maker, is credited for the invention of the first compound microscope in 1560. So, ito si Zacharias Janssen. So, siya yung 
um, sa kanya kinedit yung invention ng first compound microscope. So, ano yung use ng uh, compound microscope na to? Johnson's compound microscope was an important progression from the single lens microscope. So, it was capable of magnifying objects three times their size when fully closed and up to ten times when extended to the maximum. So, mas kung um, yung size ng isang object is mas pinalaki pa kapag uh, pag ginamit mo tong uh, pag ginamit mo tong compound microscope na in-invent ni Janssen and you were able to um, you, will, you were able to see the uh, what really the object is so it is three times their size when fully closed pag, pag medyo malapit and up to ten times when extended to the maximum mas pinalapit pa okay, so ganoon ganoon kalinaw yung object na yun so, the compound microscope is an important instrument in many scientific studies nowadays, such as in the areas of, oh, halimbawa, sa medicine, forensic studies, tissue analysis, atomic studies, and of course, the genetics. So, ito ginagamit na rin nila to, uh, for, to the study of those areas. Next one is the telescope. So perhaps, most important technological invention in the study of astronomy during the modern ages was the practical telescope invented by Galileo Galilei. So ito siya. So he was invented the telescope in the, um, during the modern ages. Okay. So, this invention could magnify object 20 times larger than the Dutch perspective glasses. Okay. So, 20 times larger than the Dutch perspective glasses. So, it was Galileo who first used telescope skyward and made important astronomical discoveries and identified the presence of craters and mountains on the moon. So, Galileo's remarkable technological contribution drastically changed the study of astronomy. So, for the first time, it became clear that the universe is far. So, yung universe daw natin is mas malayo, larger, lar larger than previously imagined in the, in the Earth far, smaller compared to the entire universe. So, because of the telescope na the discovery ni, ni Galileo Galilei na yung universe is far larger than the previous imagined and the earth and the earth far smaller compared to the entire universe. So, mas malaki yung universe kaysa sa earth. So, yun yung telescope. And another one, another invention under modern ages is the jackpard loom. So as the industrial revolution reached full speed, the jackpard loom was considered as one of the most critical drivers of the revolution. So it was built by the, ito si Joseph Marie Jackward. Kaya yung invention niya is pinangalan mismo sa kanya. We have the jackpard loom. So... Uh, Joseph Marie Jacquard was a French who who invented the Jacquard uh, loom and simplifies textile manufacturing. So, yung mga tela. Okay. Prior to the invention of the Jacquard loom, a draw loom was used which required two individuals to operate. The weaver and then the draw boy. So, um, prior, to the, uh, prior to this, Prior to this, <clears throat> prior to this invention, meron mo ng uh, yung ginagamit nila is yung draw loom. 
a draw lumo was used which required two individuals to operate. So doon, dalawa pa yung nag-operate, yung weaver and then the draw boy. Dito sa jackward loom is only one person na nag-operate. So it figure designs on textiles were needed. So yan si Joseph, uh, Joseph Marie Jackward. So the Jackward loom is also an important antecedent of modern computer technology as it demonstrated the use of punch cards to instruct a machine to carry out complex tasks. Uh, example is you making different textile patterns. So by that, by the use of the chakward loom, mas uh, madaling ng gumawa ng isang uh, textile patterns. Mga different textile patterns na kung ano man yung gusto mo. Okay. Next is the engine-powered airplane. So this engine-powered air airplane was... Uh, so ito, this is the flight of flying machine of Orville and Wilbur Wright. So Orville Wright and Wilbur Wright are credited for designing and successfully operating the first engine powered aircraft. So ito yung dalawang magkapatid na nag uh, sa kanila credit yung pag-design and successfully pag-design at pag-operate ng engine powered aircraft. So, the brothers proved that aircrafts could fly without air foil shaped wings. So, they demonstrated this in their original flying machine patent, showing that slightly tilted wings, which they referred to as airplanes, were the key features of a powered aircraft. So, by this, um, Despite, uh, rather, so, yeah. so the, their pioneering success mark an age of powered flights. Okay, so yun yung tungkol dyan sa engine powered airplane na yan. So they demonstrated this in their original flying machine patent showing that slightly tilted wings which they referred to as airplanes where they were the key features of powered aircraft technology. So the Wright brothers were brilliant scientists who paved the way for modern aircraft technology. The next one is the television. So the the invention of television. Um, sino yung nag-invent ng television actually? So si John Logie Baird. He is a Scottish engineer who invented the modern television. So kung titingnan yun, ito yung modern television na yan ito. So yun. So, in 1924, Braid, uh, Baird successfully televised objects in outline 1925, recognizable human faces, 1928 projected colored images. Okay. So, again, noong 1925, recognizable human faces noong 1928 meron ng mga colored images yung na na project okay so um despite being the first television invented um Baird's television was later on criticized for its fuzzy and flickering images Primar primarily because it was mechanical compared to electronic versions that were developed much later. So, na ano rin, na parang nabash din yung television niya dahil it was mechanical, not electric electronic version. Okay, so, yun yung, eh, yun 
ang mga some some of detail uh, some of the inventions under the modern ages we have the the compound microscope telescope jacquard loom jacquard loom engine powered airplane tel and then we have the television <coughs> So let us now discuss the inventions by Filipino scientists. So the Philippines boasts its own history and tradition of scientific and technology innovations. Syempre, merong uh, syempre may mga Filip may mga Filipino scientists din na meron silang na-invent or naiambag dito sa atin. So not only outside the the Philippines but also here in our country, meron din tayong mga inventions na tayo mismo yung mga nag-invent. So, throughout the Philippine history, Filipinos are responsible for developing many scientific and technological innovation focused on navigation, isa yun, traditional, shipbuilding, textile, mga food processing, indigenous arts and techniques, and even cultural inventions. So the following are some of the most important inventions of the Filipino scientists. So number one is the electronic chipney or yung tinatawag nating e-chipney. So it is one of the most recognizable, uh, recognizable national symbols of the Philippines and most popular mode of public transportation in the country that time. So the Egyptni the Egyptni was introduced in Metro Manila and Bacolod City. Egyptnis are are designed to be environment friendly, eliminating noise and air pollution as they run on electricity. Okay, so hindi dito kailangan ng uh, walang walang usok na binubuga itong Egypt ni Egypt ni na to. Kumbaga, they just uh, they run on electricity. So they eliminate noise and air pollution because Egypt ni is said to be an environment friendly. So napaka environmental friendly ng Egypt ni na to. So yun. The next one is the erythromycin. So erythromycin is a uh, was developed or was invented by the by the by an Ilonggo scientist Abelardo Abelardo Aguilar si Abelardo Aguilar siya yung nag-invent ng antibiotic na to so this antibiotic out of a strain of bacterium called strep streptomyces erythrus from which this drug derived its name so yung erythromycin na to dito sa sa scientific name na derive yung pangalan niya Streptomyces erythrus Another invention is the medical incub incubator So Dr. Fedel Mundo So Dr. Fedel Mundo a world renowned Filipino pediatrician and national scientist who was invented the incubator and join this device. So, ito yung in-invent ni Dr. Dr. Fe Del Mundo. At ito si Dr. Fe Del Mundo. He was a uh, she, rather. She is a pediatrician and national scientist na nag-invent ng medical incubator na, in incubator na to. She was the first woman pedi pediatrician to be admitted to the prestigious Harvard University Schools of Medicine. So, Del Mundo's incubator was particularly outstanding as it addressed the state of Philippine rural communities that had no electricity to aid the regulation of body temperatures of newborn 
babies. So no, no electricity to aid the regulation of body temperatures of new newborn babies. So for this purpose, Del Mundo's invention was truly ingenious. Next is the mole re remover. So mole remover. So Rolando de la Cruz, ito si Rolando de la Cruz. He was uh, he was invented the invention of the local mole remover, remover that use of extract of cashew nuts. So saan naman galing o oh, ano naman yung scientific name ni mole removal is the anacardium occidental which are very common in the Philippines. So the indigenous formula is caught on its accessibility, affordability, and painless and scarless procedure. So De La Cruz won a gold medal for this invention in the International Invention Innovation Industrial Design and Technology Exhibition in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in the year 2000. So he was he was um rewarded because of that invention na in invent ni Rolando de la Cruz. Okay, the next one is the banana ketchup. So, sino yung nag-invent ng banana ketchup? A Filipino food technologist, Maria Orosa. So, ito si Maria Orosa. Invented the banana ketchup. A variety of ketchup different from the commonly known tomato ketchup. So, her invention uh, appeals particularly to Filipinos who love using condiment, condiments to go along with their food. So, Orosa's banana ketchup is brownish, yellow in natural color, but is dyed red to resemble the color of the most loved tomato ketchup. Okay, so... Um, Orosa, as a... Uh, Historical accounts posit to Arosa invented the banana ketchup at the backdrop of World War II when there was a huge shortage of tomatoes. So as a result, uh, Miss Arosa developed a variety of ketchup that made use of mashed banana, sugar, so ginamitan ng sugar, vinegar, and spices which were all readily available. So Ito na yung banana ketchup na ngayon is was also called as the banana sauce. Okay, so that's all about the discussion of the historical antecedent in the world. So it is more on inventions that were invented na naka sa atin. So those are some inventions na ginagamit natin until now. And we have that in summarizing the the discussion and we have the three important period na na discuss natin we have the ancient period the middle ages and then the modern ages so from ancient period yung mga na invent nila is na, na develop siya until the until the modern ages so kumbaga say for example the 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 clock so pagdating sa middle ages mas naging uh, mas na improve na yung inventions when it comes to clock and pagdating naman sa mga Filipino scientists through the years many Filipinos were able to establish themselves as scientists and science educators in various scientific areas and fields so inventions and innovations were done by these Filipino scientists so hindi lang yung mga nabanggit na mga scientists ang mga ang mga science ang mga Filipino scientists na nakapag-invent ng isang bagay na naka-influence sa atin there are many more Filipino scientists hindi lang uh, if you're going to research those Filipino scientists maraming makikita kayo sa internet and the demands of globalization especially in the ASEAN economic agenda prompted the Philippines to invest in science and technology programs and uh, programs and 
projects. So if you were given a chance to invent something, you should be able to or dapat knowledgeable ka sa kung ano man yung i-invent mo. Hindi ka lang basta-basta mag-invent ng kung ano-ano. Dapat alam mo kung bakit need yun, uh, bakit need uh, ng tao yung invention mo and how will this invention make the world a better place to live in. So that is the very first thing to do na kailangan mong gawin if you are going, uh, if you were given a chance to to invent something. So again, you should be able to answer the question, how will this invention make the world a better place to live in? Okay, so thank you and God bless.